Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Yesterday, EA surprised us. We didn't get an icon or hero pack or player pick SBC. Instead, we got something completely different. Now, it is impacting the market, and we'll talk about that. Fodder prices going up, others going down, and some other market impacts there. But speaking of the market today on a Monday as well, do we have an opportunity to actually invest in some of these fantasy foot cards from Team 2? Because these cards are not impacts for very long. Yes, we have the impending panic of maybe a foot birthday, you know, leaks and stuff like that. But is there still an opportunity to invest in some of these cards for the short term with maybe some prices going up today, tomorrow? into Wednesday before these cards go out of packs. We'll talk about that and what else to expect with the market and content today on FIBA 23. If you're excited for the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's start by looking at a content roundup from yesterday and kind of what happened. Of course, we started off by, I guess we had two surprising SBCs yesterday, a Dante out of positions. Now this was leaked by Foot Sheriff uh, before it was dropped yesterday, but I don't think anybody expected it to be a striker. This SBC is fun because it's different right and this also might be one of the best out of position player SBCs that we have had I mean this promo was not a very good promo earlier on in the year but this card is kind of fun right five star weak foot he got a really big boost in the shooting stats 95 shot power 92 composure which is probably an overlooked stat 95 strength I mean this is going to be a card that doesn't play amazingly well in game but the fact that it's only 60k to do two squads really easy it's kind of fun right so no complaints from me there but if you don't like it you know that's uh, to each their own. But the SBC yesterday that made things move a lot was this one. The mixed campaign player pick. And this is what we're surprised and we did not expect because what have Sundays been for the past, like, couple months on this game it's been icon packs it's been hero packs that's something that we like look forward to almost every sunday or monday on fifa and yesterday we got this mixed campaign player pack instead which was one of three road to the final future stars or centurions and it's coming in at a pretty cheap price of a hundred thousand coins 71 percent upvote i mean guys with sbcs like this if you've seen them a lot before we haven't had that many party bags this year so it may not be as familiar as in previous years the pack weight on these is never that amazing right Right? You get cards in those SBCs. Like I packed Lucas Mora, right? 100k SBC. I got a 72,000 coin, not live road to the final card. But people yesterday were packing Raspadori, Fofana, uh, Kalulu. You know, not that that's really good value, but that was a you know a card people were packing. We saw a decent amount of Marco Royce yesterday. Saw some Nuno Menge. So there was potential, right? A lot of potential from this player pick. But the fact that it's so cheap, a lot of times these player picks don't give out the best of value of cards. But it's still a fun gamble and it's so easy it's kind of like if you don't if you're not broke on this game this is the type of SBC that you can get done in the next couple of days for really really easy it's an 83 and an 85 rated squad and of course we talked about in yesterday's video club stocking between 83s 84s and then the higher rated stuff as well if you did that on the low end you are making bank because 83s went from about 1.6 1.7k all the way up there up a thousand coins a card nearing the 3,000 coin mark about 1.6 to 2.6 6k on most of these cards but wait there might be more if you've started to list these cards up don't be um needing to get them out right away because i do think this sbc uh is going to refresh on wednesday in game it says it's going to repeat in two days so I think in Wednesday, it's going to refresh again. We'll be able to do this player pick again. And some of those 83s could continue to go higher. So if you invested in those or 84s, I would just tell you to list for lazies, like list your 83s, maybe like 3,000 coins or 84s above 5K. Try to catch a couple lazy sales as people will still be doing this SBC uh, during the week, of course. And once we get around to doing it again later on in the week. So that's kind of the fodder market that moved yesterday, right? A lot of the rest of the fodder market, since this SBC was pretty cheap, Cheap, only 100,000 coins, you know, you didn't, there wasn't demand for the 85s and above. 85s, 86s are down, especially all the higher rated stuff. Now, I bought some 91s yesterday at 58,000 coins. They are still holding around the same price. 58K for these 91s, about 48 to 49 for the 90s. These guys are really not down. And if I had these cards, uh, which I do, I'm not panic selling them, right? I'm holding them because there is still potential for these to go up in price later on this week. Amongst all the other investments and cards, 
cards that I have right now at the moment. I'm pretty broke, to be honest. Uh, I still held on to these cards because with that big time League One Player of the Month vote that was dropped last week, we now know that we are getting very close to a leak because take a look at this on the website. It shows the voting is closed. So Mbappe, Todibo, or Balangun, one of these guys is going to win Player of the Month, and it's probably going to be leaked either today, tomorrow, maybe Wednesday. In the next couple of days, we're going to be getting leaks for this, and that could start to move the high-rated fodder. If Mbappe does win, you will see those cards go up. If Mbappe does not win then of course those cards might go down a little bit. So that's just kind of the other one of the other things that I liked about investing in the high rated fodder this week was there was more than one potential SBC that could make those cards go up. So we're still holding strong on those, but if you bought the lower tier stuff, GG's, it's looking really, really good. Now, how did this SBC impact the rest of the market? This is a really good learning opportunity. Uh, the cheap SBCs like this, they don't really create as much panic. We talked about yesterday some movement on the market, especially on these fantasy cards, and we were hoping for a lot of movement because we thought a bigger SBC was coming, right? If we would have gotten a hero or an icon pack or player pick, think back to last Sunday where we did have a hero player pick, the one of five, and there was a lot of hype for it, a lot of prices dropped, right? Because most people have to sell more cards to get the coins to go and do an SBC like that. 100,000 coin SBC with 83 and 85 rated squads, that's really easy to do. It doesn't impact the market as much, and that's why you don't see these uh, Team 2 cards from Fantasy Foot. They're really not down that much in price right now, and a lot of the rest of the market is really not down that much either. There were a couple of fluctuations, especially when people saw right away that Road to the Finals were going to be included uh, in this player pick, right? So, like, I have some Wesley Fofana still on my transfer list. Wesley Fofana was, like, 390,000 coins. He went down to, like, 375, but he went right back up, right? A lot of the panic yesterday was on cards that actually started to go right back up, you know, after about 15, 20, 30 minutes of people doing that SBC and realizing, okay, I'm not packing Nuno Menj, Fofana, I'm not packing guys like Barella or the really top tier cards. I'm sure a lot of people got lucky, but the kind of market movements that you saw yesterday on a lot of the uh, cards affected by the SBC, even if they were in packs technically of that SBC, right? Like Kempembe yesterday started the day at 570. He went down to 520. A bunch of people bought this card. He went boom, right back up to 560. That's kind of how a lot of the market movements were yesterday. Raspadori, 317K, right? He was about 307 before the SBC dropped, went down to 296, and he's going up and continuing to going up as a lot of the road to the finals are, of course, as especially some of those cards have games this week. Now, it's not all, you know, nice and pretty for every single card. Kalulu is one that was packed a lot yesterday, right? So as you see people opening these player picks, maybe as you're watching the stream, like when we were opening them on stream, you see people open them, you know, the guys that you're seeing pop the most, kind of those, you know, like the Lucas Mora, right? The, the Pierre Kalulu, he was 90,000 coins. He went down to 80K and he's really not rebounding back up. So some cards, of course, were hit in value like that yesterday, but those are the ones that were getting packed the most from that player SBC. Uh, Trent actually is a bit low right now. 251. I think he was 270, right? He was 281. He went down to about 256. And now he's kind of at 251. So this is a card that was probably packed a little bit yesterday, but like not that much. That might be a card you can maybe flip. Um, Atal was packed a little bit, but not that much. He's back up. I flipped a Vitinha from like 190 or something to 210. So, you know, there was plenty of fluctuations yesterday, but the market responded very well overall and that's how it feels like the whole market right now kind of is a lot of the market is just doing pretty good at the moment i know we talked about the potential of panic selling um for you know foot birthday and all that sort of stuff and i mean besides the market doing really really good right now last night when we were looking at prices on the, the youtube video guys um the, these cards were really really low emre chan last night at like two hundred and ten thousand coins i'm glad that i bought six of them uh, because he went up a lot. Now, I did sell those yesterday for around 250 to 260, and he's still right around that 240, 250 range. Now, I do think these cards have potential to rise a bit more today with the market being as healthy as it is. Yesterday's SBC was not draining that many coins off of the market. How is the market going to react today? It's a Monday, right? Normally, we see prices go up, especially on the brand new promo cards that people want to go out, they want to try, they get coins from weekend league rewards, and we see some positive market movements. And usually, Mondays, aren't too crazy of days for like SBCs and other types of content. So 
I think, especially with these cards only being in packs until Wednesday, and with right now no leaks, or no information or news about Foot Birthday, there might be a short window here, and there might be an opportunity where we can get in and buy a few of these cards because they could actually start to rise up more as we head throughout the week if the conditions align, if the, if the stars align, if you will, right? If it's not that crazy of content today or tomorrow, some of these guys could start to go up. Now, the reason why I say that is cards from Team 1 of the Foot Fantasy promo, they have kept rising, uh, not crazy amounts, but they've started to continue to go up. Yesterday, Isak was a bit of a strange situation. Um, he scored a goal for Newcastle in their win yesterday, but technically that goal does not count, and I believe people thought that it did because Isak went from like 280k all the way to 310 yesterday. So again, the games that have played been played so far do not count at all for these cards, but you know, think about it. Even today, we've got uh, Inter, I think, is playing. Inter Milan. No, sorry, it's AC Milan. So, like, Benasser, right? Let's say Benasser scores a goal today or something. You know, his card might just magically go up, as people believe. Uh, that you know that it counts for the upgrade, so that's kind of a you know not really a good conclusion to draw. I don't believe Benasser is going to go up today just because they play. But if he were to score, same thing with the Isak yesterday. That sort of situation is there. All that to say, I just feel like with these cards going out of packs Wednesday, investors are going to want to get in. These are live cards once again. I do believe there's a lot of potential for them to rise. I know we have a lot of impending stuff with Foot Birthday and all of that, but. As long as there is no leaks or information or news or anything around those lines about Foot Birthday, these cards are going to do well. They're going to move around and people are going to try them out because especially like Emre Chan yesterday, all the ones that I bought, like this is a card that a lot of people are interested in because it's got really good stats. It's got multiple different position changes and it's just something that's kind of different, right? So a lot of these cards continue to move around and I do think they will rise today. I, I did buy a couple more Emre Chans. Um, you know, I'm trying to get him in like the 230 range, which is really, really tough to do because he's just up. But I'm trying to get some good prices on these cards because I do think there will be some positive movements today. Um, and yeah, it just comes down to the leaks and it comes down to what what would give somebody a reason to panic for some of those prices to go down? Now, also, if you want to play devil's advocate a little bit more, we still have these boosted packs that are in the code. And this is something that I don't like about these cards. I feel very good about Fantasy Team 2, about rising up a little bit today. But still, I still have, you know, this thought in my mind that EA have these boosted pack odd packs that give out boosted chances of these cards that they can just randomly drop at any time. And that's something that we most often don't have or like never have so that's just such a weird scenario to have that plus the potential of full birthday leaks all going on right now so if you don't want to risk it i don't blame you there's still plenty of other ways to trade on this game in this market out of pack special cards and the like the usual icons hero flipping and stuff like that that's a little bit safer maybe if you don't want to mess around with the stuff in packs but there are still a lot of cards in packs that i think have potential to move uh in the next two days so that's kind of all my thoughts around the market right now it does feel very solid it feels like people are buying cards and it doesn't feel hampered or scared at all with foot birthday upcoming now let's look at some of the potential content that we could get today right monday upgrade pack day who's surprised we're talking about upgrade packs on a monday right now also today um i think we could see another player sbc remember in yesterday's video we talked about gomez and rashika I think one of those will be today, and one maybe is on Wednesday. Maybe we'll go back-to-back -back days Monday, Tuesday. But since those guys are in the code, they kind of ex we expect them to drop. So I do expect to get a player SBC today. Now for upgrade packs, last week we had the 78 plus pl player pick, and you know it was okay. It wasn't amazing, right? Nine rare golds, our usual Monday check on the market. They're discard. People are stocking up. You can see here on bids, they're getting them in the club for 350. It's a smart move. I would go for that. Now the only thing I'm trying to figure out here is what would our upgrade pack be today there's a provisions pack that is still in the store um and you know last week or even on friday i think they dropped this pack and we were like ea why are you dropping a provisions pack with common players if the player pick that required them has gone away it didn't make any sense maybe today they're going to re-release the provisions pack or maybe they're going to re-release a pack or player pick that requires a non-rare since they've had this out all weekend so just kind of you know reading between the lines there maybe a little bit but as we always do rares non-rares do a little bit of a club stock um, especially with the non-rares i mean 
These are live cards. So like we saw last week, these guys went from 350 all the way to 650. And I think that's why also people are looking to get in and invest in some of these. You can see all the bids at 350, right? A lot of people want to invest in these because they have the more potential to rise. If they do an SBC that just requires rares or a combination of rares and non-rares, rares just don't go up as much, right? The non-rares go up more. So I would club stock both, but you know, do what you got to do there. If you want to do a bunch of upgrade packs, this promo, like if you really want to try to pack Hazard, Emre Chan, these guys, I mean, they seem decently packable because they they pop up on the market. Like Emre Chan pops up on the market a lot. Uh, so it seems like there might be a decent opportunity uh, for some of those guys to be packed this week. Upamecano is still extinct. And man, as I sit here and we were doing this on stream yesterday too, as I search this guy's price, um, you see more and more of them pop up. Now that was during the heat of the day. This is more nighttime, late night for the market. So I doubt we'll see as many. Um, but you know, I have a feeling that EA could potentially upgrade his price range today. Remember last Monday we had all the showdown cards or maybe it was two Mondays ago, um, updated, right? It's kind of like Monday, they come back into the office and maybe some of the price ranges, some of the upgrades for live cards that are due get boosted or something like that. Just kind of, that's a theory, I guess I have in my head, but I think that Upamakano might get upgraded today, and I'm so very curious to see what happens when he gets upgraded. I believed in his card on Friday to go above that price. As of right now, I don't really know if I do. I, I think that that card might just be now a little bit oversupplied. The amount of people yesterday in the stream that were coming in and asking, hey, should I sell this card? I packed it, or hey, I've invested in it. You know, I, there's a lot of people that have bought that card hoping for bigger profits. I, I, it honestly feels like a 50-50 chance to me. It really does because I do feel like Upamecano could go up. Everybody compares him to Saliba. But on the other hand, I don't think he's worth as much as Saliba because some of his stats and his pack weight just seems to be more than Saliba was last week. And of course, as my game likes to trip out on me right now, now this is very nice. But those are kind of my thoughts on Upa, but he's still extinct. Maybe, hopefully, EA will upgrade his price today and we will have an opportunity um, to see where that card will move without it. So I've got a lot of my coins invested, like you saw, um, and I'm just going to be trying to flip these brand new cards today. I'm going to stock the club and try to get some coins ready um, with those gold non-rares so that I can do some upgrade packs this week and today. And uh, yeah, we're really at a point where we need like, it's kind of get down to the leaks uh, for EA to drop a leak for like player of the month Mbappe or whoever we're gonna was going to win from this. Um, and then foot birthday, maybe a foot birthday loading screen on Tuesday. We'll talk a bit more about that tomorrow. It's also not out of the question. EA could very easily drop an icon pack. I know we didn't get one yesterday. You know, we usually get these sorts of packs in the middle of the week. EA could drop an icon SBC today too, right? Who's saying they couldn't do that? Maybe they just wanted to flip it a little bit. Maybe we'll still get an icon SBC today. All of that stuff is in question. All that stuff is very possible today on FIFA 23. So that's going to be the video for me today, guys. If you did enjoy, smash thumbs up on it. Comment below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Have a great start to the week. I'll see you guys on the stream today. It's been Nate Foot Account. Catch you guys later. Peace out.